everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Today I am going to do the Warehouse Box Buzz um, Kit 2. We're going to do the first layout. Um, the Warehouse Box is by Miss Janet Madison. She is of RTS Scrapbooking and I have her links for both Patreon and for YouTube. And everybody sees Patreon and they're like, oh, I don't want to pay for content, but it's $1, one whopping dollar. And she will give you so much. Like I have learned so much for her, from her, but this is definitely inspired by her series. This is not my idea. Um, and I would be just like, I, I just very encouraging for you to go check her out. She is awesome. <laughs> like she is so awesome. Okay. Oh, that was a lot of rambling. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get started. Now, Janet, I believe, is doing 2022's page maps. Um, I will have this link below, too. You, these are free each month. Um, just hit that description button. Anything that I talk about, I will have the links, and you just have to click those little blue links, and it'll take you right there. So definitely do that. Um, I am going to use this... Um, this sketch right here is inspiration. We'll just see where it goes. I did kind of cut my papers to what I thought match close to what they had. Other than that, I just threw everything in a pile. <laughs> so I got a bunch of inks out because I think I'm going to ink. And then, and some of these are old, y'all. Look, look how old these are. This is even discolored. I don't even know if this has ink in it, but by golly, we're going to try. And I thought that these um, matched fairly well to this paper. Now, I did page kits for each week. This is the second set of page kits. If you watch those making the page kits, you know where my photos are from. You know where my papers came from. I'll link that series below as well. And you can just go along and I don't have to repeat it and waste everybody's time. So, cause I know you guys join me all the time. So I cut out, these are all, this one's four by 12. This one's one and a half by 12. And this is one, is this one and a half or two? Am I lying to y'all? No, it is one and a half. So what I'm thinking, because they have like a little edge here, um, and then a main, and then a block, and I did cut a block. So I'm thinking maybe I will come over here to the edge. Now y'all, I might have to pause the video, bear with me. I'm having rock delivered today for our rock path. We have a walkway from our back door down to our shop and the rock is coming today. Oh, I'm so glad. It's just a dust bowl. And I don't really want to water dirt. <laughs> Why would you water dirt, right? But the way our sprinklers are, my husband moved the sprinklers, put in electrical. It was a busy weekend. We've got everything ready. We're just ready for them to come deliver the dirt. I think I, think I want to go this way with it. No, this way? I don't know. Now, mine is not exact, but it is close, and I will line everything up at the end and all that good stuff like I always do. Um, so I think this is gonna be the way it goes. We might have to move this around. Usually I'll have this done, but I've decided to go a little further and try not to mm, do so much off camera and share more on camera. But, it, you know, I'm not going to lie. I like it when I have the base and we just embellish and hang out. It makes me more comfortable, but I'm trying. So bear with me. Okay, so now they have two 4 by 6 photos, and I don't have that. I have one 4 by 6 which I that's the main one I want. And then I have two that I've cut down to 3 by 4 And that, that is not going to work there. But let's see here. What should I do? I don't want to do the circle element. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do, maybe I'll, let me see. See, this is the part I usually do off camera so you guys don't have to hear my brain think. <laughs> Thank goodness you can't see it. You can see smoke coming out my ears. Oh, okay, so I maybe I should edge punch these. I think I might. Maybe I'll grab an edge punch here in a second. Let's figure out where the photos are going to go. Definitely want to see the flowers. So... What if we went like this? Hmm, see, that's got to go over just a little further. Okay. Trying to get as much as... I love this paper. I almost wish I would have done this like in a the gray and done this one and this one in the print. And I, 
I think maybe I might have enough to do that, but I don't, I don't know. And I've already done it. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy scrapper. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I am. I am. Okay. So there's a little story. When you, I do the close-ups, you'll see Miss Jillian had a little skirt around her um, bathing suit and it fell off while she was running down the slip inside with her sister because her sister was volunteering at VBS. It was pretty funny. <laughs> I have a good little story to tell, which I could put here or I could do large journaling here. We'll see how much I end up writing. Okay, so now all these embellishments, <coughs> um, different ones for, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, different ones from Love to RTS Swaps. These are from, are they from Cindy B? Yeah, these are from a long time ago. And I'm thinking the reason I have all these inks out is I will ink these. Yeah, I think I'm going to ink them and layer them and put them together because she just gave them as is, which that's totally fine. I love that. And then we have to figure out what we're going to put for a title. Um, these came from a swap as well. I think they're from Robin, but I'm not 100% sure. I know it came in a set. Maybe not. Somebody may have gifted them to me. I apologize. I honestly, before I started being more diligent, so... We could do maybe, I kind of like this one too, because there is a story to this, but then I need to journal inside of there. Could go like that. What if I ink the edges of that? Hmm, maybe that could be the title. Um, I don't know. I like the remember this also. We'll, we'll start with this and we'll see how it turns out. I might change my mind. That's roll. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I am going to take an edge punch. I will find one of my edge punches and I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do all three of them and then just layer them here. That's not what they did, but I, I know I like that look. So we'll see. I'm maybe just two, maybe three. When I go to glue it down or whatever, I will come back and I will show you that, but I'm going to edge punch two to three of these here. Um, let's see here. And all these other goodies I just had in my binder. Honestly, I did. So I'm thinking I can maybe layer a flower here. Maybe these two are together. We could layer one here. Pretty cute. Anyway, so then her sister let her have some ice cream because she was pretty upset because she saw it as her pants falling down even though it wasn't. It's just like a little sarong thing on her swimsuit. It was pretty cute. Should my instinct is to go up here, so I will make one for there. And then I do have this little tiny Jolie's pack. They have gray in like in the center. Maybe I'll stagger these around or something, something. We'll see. I'm thinking it's gonna be a fairly simple page because if I cover up too much, then we're not gonna see any of this, and I really do like this. And I pulled this out, I'm pretty sure this is from Lori. Um, from one of the swaps and I'm thinking this is so cute look at this and I might ink this as well look how cute that is <laughs> I love that I so love this oh goodness and we do have a little butterfly let's see what I got here I do have this it was the right color so I just threw it over here and I do have some stems from my stash and I will tuck those in around here. Wonder if I could, yeah, sure I can. I can do whatever I want. It's my page. There's no wrong way to do it. I like that. And what if we did, cause it is VBS. What if we were to put faith here? Maybe we could do family too. I mean, I did pull this out, but one, it's kind of a purplish color, and it is about VBS, so I'm thinking this one, and it's not that sticky, so I'm just going to, okay, I like this, and that'll draw your eye up here, this, I can journal here, or here, but probably here, like in this square, like that, and let me see, so I'm thinking I should ink these, yeah, 
let's do that. All right, so I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna ink these. I'll come back before I glue anything down. So I'm gonna pause okay, real quick. So I've inked two of them. I figured, I thought maybe I would ink this one on on video. So not that anybody doesn't know how to ink, but I, I did, I want this to have some dimension. I wanted to take these white flowers and I wanted to make them fit my color scheme, which is basically green and gray and some white, right? Cardstock. So I took the gray and I used this um, distressed, I pulled this one out. I had another one, but I pulled out my Tim Holtz and then I just went around the edges and all this does is just give it a little bit of a smoky feel, nothing major. It gives it definition. For me, that's what inking does. Now, I love to ink. I ink a lot. I think it makes your page, um, not 3D, but it definitely makes it stand out more, especially if one, you're using flat items, and two, if you're not using a lot of embellishments. And on this page, I don't have a ton of embellishments but I can take what I do have. That's that's why I love the swaps. These are just white flowers. I can make them whatever I want, right? Because like I always say, once you get them, they are yours. You own them, play with them, have fun. So I, I'm just, and I'm being pretty aggressive because I'm gonna go over it with the green. Now on this one up here, I used this light Stampin' Up green that I showed earlier which has hardly any ink. In fact, I think I'm gonna toss it. It's so old. I, I even got those at a yard sale, y'all. Okay, so, oh, where'd I, where am I at here? Um, and then these, I did even more detailed. I might go back and add a little darker ink because I also used this old archival ink that I had just to give it even more dimension, which I think it matches better. And then what I will do is when I do enamel dots, I'm either gonna do gray or I'm gonna do black or a combination of the two, I think. I might throw some green in there, we'll see how it goes. Um, I will use the big ones as centers for these flowers. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. I'm just getting some ink out here, finishing this up. I just want, thought maybe, maybe someone might like to see how you can take a plain white flower. You guys know how all the time I'm using these scraps. You can do these to these little tiny ones too that I've shown. Okay, so then I come in with the light color, which this is not easy. And I definitely just kind of dirty them up, right? Dirty them up. And then I went over each one. Now this one, I'm not so worried about the edges. I wanna get the tips. So that's what I'm doing here. And no, it's not pretty yet, but we'll get there. Just keep on going. And like I said, this light color, oh, it's dying on me, which that's okay. We're just trying to get a few different shades and give it some dimension, like I said. All right. So the gravel guy came, which to y'all doesn't seem like I was going very long, but was going wild. So now we have gravel, get the walk path in, pretty excited. I think I started to tell you my husband got the electrical in, we got the edging in for the walk path because we have a spot from our house to our gate that we use to go out to our shop. I think I said that part, but like the grass is worn. We go out there all the time. That's where we play darts and hang out and use our smoker and have fun as a family. Now, I'm wanting this to be a little bit darker. We'll wait and see how the dark green goes. Then I got a new dauber, and I'm taking the dark green, and this one I'm gonna do in the middle. See how much color that gives it and dimension. So then it's almost like an ombre. So then it goes from the dark into a little bit lighter, and I might come back with the lighter again. We'll see how this ends up. And this is just fun hanging out, right? My kids are at school. Is that the right color? No. My kids are at school today. Junior's fever finally broke yesterday. Poor baby. He comes out and he's like, Mama, I'm so hungry. I'm like, I bet, dude. He hadn't eaten in like two days. It was crazy. It was definitely crazy. I'm going to take the light again. And just trying to, and I still want white to poke through. Julie Joe, she's she didn't get near as sick as her brother, but man, Jason, whew, 
That kid got sick. He was starving to death. And he said it to me, like, why haven't you fed me? I was like, I've been asking you if you want some meat. Oh, poor baby. There's no wrong or right way to do it. Just do it till you like it. If you don't like it, well, flip it over and do the other side. <laughs> I've done that. I'm laughing, but I have so done that. I have to run to the post office after this. Well, technically, i got to run to the school and give my kids some cold medicine so they can make it through the day because, you know, they're not going to give it to them. I have to, which as a, I was in the medical field. I know why. I don't blame them. I wouldn't do it either. Okay. That's how they turn out. And like I said, I will put, um, and I might layer these more, I think. See how that turns out like that. That turns out good. I like that. Okay. So that's how I ink those. I'm thinking I'm going to ink this. Might as well do it. I got everything out here. I'm going to ink this with some gray very lightly that's the one thing about this simple stories vintage lines they're vintagey right so that just reminds me of you know tattered and older so i'm just gonna do this real quick i don't think i'm gonna go over it with the green although i really like the green but it'll make this flower stand out more so i'm gonna avoid that Okay, so just like that, that, I'm liking all this. I know it's not straight. I'll straighten it out when I glue it down. And let's see here. I do have friends. I have Faith up there. I don't think I want to put friends anywhere. I love this little mischievous raccoon. It's pretty cute. And, you know, I was going to go with all butterflies, but then I was like, mm, I don't think I want to. Let's build these clusters a little. I think I'm going to put that one there, just like that. And maybe, I don't know about this. We'll see. And the little flowers, these flowers here, I might put some around his feet. Let's, I'll do a couple because they're so tiny. You have to do them with tweezers. I mean, I've had these forever too. Remember when Jolie's was like all the rage? So I'm thinking just putting some like down around his feet just to be cute, you know, and then putting him on top of them. So I might add, I might use the whole thing. I might add a couple more. I'm not really sure. We'll just see how they go like that. There we go. And I'll, I'll do an odd number and I'll just put some around his feet. So then well, my clusters aren't exactly the same, and I guess I could ink this one, but I don't I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should. Maybe before I decide no, I should just do it and see if I like it. It's just one small one. There was just an extra one in that set. And this is taking just a few embellishments and making them really stand out. So they're just, you know, they're gorgeous. And they truly are gorgeous. I could even, you know what I think I might do? I'm gonna ink that the rest of the way and I'm gonna layer that over here. I will. And then that way there'll be three centers and that'll kind of look, yeah, on purpose. <laughs> Not by accident. Okay, so then I need to put some fun. I have all of these, let me dump these out. And these are just leftovers I have from Project. They're all different colors. Looks like these are a lot of the darker ones, which I'm okay with that too. We'll just stick some where we can see them. Different types. You layer this one with a couple. Let's see here. This one needs to be punched out. So it does have like little things and I'll Punch that out. And while I know you can't really see this really well because these are darker, I'm okay with darker. I'm just going to, I don't know, this one to me should not be. I'm just going to, um, I just want an effect. And when you get up close, you'll see it better. Just trying to give it more oomph. These are what I call 
tuckers, right? You guys have heard me say that before. I need, those are gonna be good little tuckers. Okay, so I like that. That's three branch stems. Now I think I might slip one up here to give this some dimension so they kind of match. This is a sticker, so that's okay too. Layer that, and then I will do some enamel dots inside and the little flowers down here. Okay, now I'm wondering if I should even edge this. I don't think I'm going to, y'all. I think I'm gonna leave y'all. <laughs> it takes us too long. That's okay, y'all is a word here. <laughs> that just made me laugh. Okay, I was going to do an edging on this, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave it. I am, I'm going to leave it. Okay, so I'm gonna go glue it down and then I will be right back. So guys, I glued it all down and it turned out pretty cute. There's the cluster up at the top. I added some black enamel dots. I put gray enamel dots in the middle of the flowers. These are <clears throat> um, puffy stickers and then I layered the leaves. And then over here on this side, I'll try to go um, slower here. Those flowers, look at the dimension on these flowers. They're just so cool. So cool. Had a lot of fun playing with those. Yeah. And then I just put little flowers. Oh, that was quick. Sorry. <laughs> put some little flowers down at the feet of the raccoon. Just like that. It's all done. The glue's still a little bit wet, but that's okay. We'll let it dry. I did add um, the little flowers that I put here. I did add some here in this big cluster. So thank you for hanging out with me again. Thank you so much for all of you who subscribe to my page and are so encouraging and uplifting. You truly bless me and I hope that you were blessed today and every day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.